Do you want some seeing the hand of God touching you? Amen. Touching you. 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 Amen. Something is bothering your heart. Eh? Bothering your heart. Which is something that doesn't enable you to move forward spiritually. Yes, please. That is weakness. Yes. Eh? Yes, please. This has tormented you a lot. Yes, please. I'm seeing an implication because of this weakness. Yes, please. Eh? Yes, please. <laughs> enough is enough. <laughs> The name of Jesus Christ. Collins. My name is Reverend Collins, and what the man of God is saying is true. Um, about the weakness, about the weakness, my spiritual weakness, it started from my heart, and it's about three years ago when it started, and it started moving in my stomach, and the doctors have checked, they said nothing is there. I've done so many endoscopies and still they said nothing is there. So I decided to come to the man of God and seek for spiritual deliverance. Oh! And what the man of God is saying is true. How has this affected your ministry? Uh, for the past three years, uh, f since that thing started, when I'm praying, then I'll be feeling weakness. I'll be feeling weakness. As the man of God said, I've been feeling weakness in my spiritual life and it has been bringing me down. Down and it has come to a point that I don't even pray. I'm not even to pray for some hours and it's bringing me down days and days and that is affecting me so much. Do you remember deliverance with a light complexion lady you are conducting? Yes, please. Uh, for the past almost three and a half years, a light Complexion, she slim, mm -hmm. and I was I, I prayed for her. I prayed for her when I was in church. Yeah. So, it, it's part of the thing God God give us the grace to talk about. Don't, freedom is not by force. He said, well, "Let me be pray, all the time, pray, pray." It's not by force. If you are forcing yourself, what happened to you? you remember Paul and the slave girl? It was that these people are there. This are that, and this are that. Sweet ways. Paul turned, come on! You will spirit leave. They are still around in this world. They pretend. You know what you felt? When you were praying for, eh? Yes, please. When you were praying for her. Yes, please. That is where it started. That is true. So, it's, it's, it's part of what I'm going to talk about. Yes, because we don't force ourselves. In Jesus' name, listen to the your guardian angel, the one guiding you to pray. You will listen to the tiny voice telling you, "Please face another direction." Okay. When you listen to them, you will stop. It's simple as that. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Good morning, sir. You welcome to Jesus on the Train International Ministry in Jesus' name. Good morning. Sir, can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from? My name is Colin Sopom and I'm from Accra. During today's Thursday live service here at Jesus on the Train International Ministry, the man of God, Apostle Daniel Kafo, gave you a message of prophecy. Can you please tell us the prophecy you received today? Yeah, the prophecy the man of God gave is accurately true. And he gave me a prophecy concerning my heart. And there is something moving in my stomach and it is accurately true and it has been 
doing it has been going on for the past three years and as the man of god said it has been troubling my spiritual life something is bothering your heart eh? bothering your heart which is something that doesn't enable you to move forward spiritually yes, please. that is weakness yes eh? yes please this has tormented you a lot. Yes, please. I'm seeing an implication because of this weakness. Yes, please. Huh? Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, it has been troubling my spiritual life and it has been weakening my body and my spiritual life. And it is true. It is true. So you confirm this prophecy to be 100% true for your life? Yes, please. It's true. So during the live service, while you were confirming the prophecy the man of God gave to you, he also went further to explain how this came about. Can you please throw light on it? Do you remember deliverance with a light complexion lady you were conducting? It was a convention and the man of God said, I was praying for a lady. As I was ministering, a lady came and I was praying for the lady and through that, the man of God said, that is the cause of the problem. And it's a great literal. He said something, you felt something when you were praying for this lady. How can you confirm that, sir? Yes, please. After praying for the lady, after praying for the people, I felt it. And after that, I started feeling it in my body. And it is true. So, sir, you confirm all these prophecies to be 100% true for your life? Yes, please. It's true. You, as a minister of god as a minister of the gospel do you believe that this message of prophecy has brought total deliverance to your life and to your ministry accurately it has bring a total deliverance to me and i thank god for bringing me here and for delivering me from this situation so sir what is your promise to god and your word of advice to viewers watching you all over the world i, I thank god firstly for what he has done for me and my message to all the people over the world is that jesus is alive and whoever is going through a problem, he should locate this place and the Lord will deliver him as he has done. Amen. We thank God for your life, for this wonderful message of prophecy that has brought deliverance and healing to your life and to your ministry. So I will encourage you to continue to follow Jesus on the way so that this healing and deliverance that you have received here today will remain permanent in your life and in your ministry so that you win more souls for Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. So, sir, is today your first time of visiting us here? Yes, please. Today is my first time of visiting. So, what can you say about the power of God working in this place? The power of God working in this place is mighty. 